Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about a couple upgrades I made to the folding sawhorses. The first upgrade is really simple, just a piece of lumber with a piece of plywood on top. It turns the sawhorse into a small table. I used a 2x4 cut to 2.5 inches tall to make it flush with the tops of the table legs. That allows the sawhorse to help support the tabletop. I countersunk the screw holes so the screw heads didn't stick out. Now I'm going to use that table to help build the second upgrade. This is a little more complicated, but still within reach of the average do-it-yourselfer. I'm going to build another tabletop that can hold a router or a jigsaw. It'll have a removable panel in the middle so I can switch tools. I'll be using two sheets of plywood glued together. The hole in the top sheet will be larger than the hole in the bottom sheet, so the removable panel will have a lip to sit on. You could also use a thick sheet of plywood and cut a recess into it. First I need to determine what size the center cutout needs to be. It looks like 10 by 15 inches will work. I'm going to drill two holes with the spade drill. These will be the finger holes. I rounded off the corners to make it easier to use the jigsaw. Now I need to mark the second sheet of plywood. The hole on this one needs to be smaller. I decided to make this hole 8.5 by 13.5 inches, so there's a 3 quarter inch lip. When I cut this one, I also made notches for the finger holes. That'll make it easier to remove and install the center panel. Here's the proof of concept. Now you can see how the removable panel works. Now it's time to glue those two sheets of plywood together. I decided to pile some weights on top instead of trying to use clamps. The tabletop is done, so now it's time to make the frame. I can't just use a single piece of lumber because the router or the jigsaw will be in the way. So I'll make a box with pieces on the ends that will fit into the sawhorses. To make the box I need to cut six pieces of lumber. Two of them are 18 inches long, two are 10 inches long, and two are 9 inches long. Here's what the box frame is going to look like. I also need to cut those boards to two and a half inches tall so they'll sit flush in the sawhorses. Ready? Okay, let's put them together. Now I'll drop the frame into a sawhorse and attach the tabletop. Here I'm using the base plate from the router to mark the center panel. I bought longer screws to attach it to the router. Let's drop the router into place and see how it fits. I think it's ready for testing. Let's get some scrap wood and try it out.
looks good, but I think it needs a safety shutoff switch. We'll tackle that in a future video. See you next time.